Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the Georgia Tech Dynasty. John Eads back with you. Big game today, welcoming in, or actually going to, I should say, number 17, Florida, 5-2 and in the season. We're the number one team in the country, having a great year so far, 6-0. and I can't remember the last time we were number one. It's been a little while. We had a tough year last year. Started the season hot like we have so far this year, but then we kind of fell off. Uh, so that's where we are right now. Coming off a win against Alabama. Check it out if you missed it. I'll play some highlights for you. Also did a recruiting episode where we had our one of our top prospects uh, lock us out unex inexplicably. Um, not sure what other unexplicably. I don't know. Um, after visiting. So that was weird. Check that out as well if you missed it. We kind of went through that and what the heck uh, went on with that. So that wasn't good, but uh, anyways, big road game today, continuing on with SEC action against the team that's certainly given us some trouble in the past. We're going to scout them, look at the sliders as always, and then get right into the game. Again, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and you enjoy the content. This is the best channel for NCAA 14. Can't wait for the new game to come out in the summer, by the way. We're going to have that right here on this channel too. Don't even worry about that. All right, sliders right here, Heisman everything. Six minute quarters, speed threshold at zero. Um, user numbers here, heavily favoring the CPU. And then the CPU numbers heavily favoring the CPU again. Uh, really tough, give me great games. So definitely, uh, I, I think these are the best sliders for someone that's uh, an experienced player and uh, wants a challenge no matter what the level of competition is. So use these if you're interested. All right, mentioned this in the recruiting episode, but just want to let you guys know if you missed that, Josh Tucker still in the thick of the Heisman race. He's number three right now. Not putting up crazy numbers, but he's producing week in, week out, up to over 500 yards in the season, about halfway through, actually halfway through exactly the regular season. So on pace for 1,000 yards. And, uh, you know, he's just been really solid for us, picking up good yardage, helping us win games. So shout out to him. All right, here's a peek at Florida. So, you know, pretty lowly rated quarterback here. Looks like he's a pocket passer unless they use this backup who's more of a dual threat freshman, which it looks like they do because he's got the star as the impact player. So we'll see about that. Decent running back, good speed, pretty good excel. And, uh, you know, 6'1", 217. So pretty built. They got a nice uh, number two there as well. This receiver is a beast. Massey, 91 overall, really fast. 6'3 uh, guy here, so certainly a possession receiver, and then they got a speedy kind of slot receiver. So pretty good guys there at wide out. Tight end is garbage. Offensive line, got a transfer there. All right, the right guard's good. He's actually injured, though. So the backup's 44 overall. Not great. So somebody else is probably playing right guard. Um, who would that be? Probably that backup center or this uh, left guard over there. So offensive line is not great, but the sliders definitely help them. Um, for not being great. The ends, eh. D-line in general is not great. I'm sure they'll play like studs against us, though. They do have good linebackers, uh, good corners, good safeties. Wow, okay, so strength of the defense is the back end. Strength of the offense seems to be the skill position players, so good to know. All right, Lee's rolling with Florida. Looks like um, they're led by the defense, number 14 in the country at this point. Any head-to-head? -head? You know, comparable teams here. Doesn't look like it. LSU, I guess we beat them. They didn't. Tennessee as well, and Alabama. So, all right. And then uh, season stats so far this season, they're really not pretty from a passing standpoint. We're not even at a thousand yards. I want to see if we can get that passing game going today. Maybe get Sean Brown, uh, you know, back to his usual self. It's really been all about the run game, but let's see if we can get them both going today in tandem. Let's get this W. Way to go. First down, baby. Got Harold. Nice throw. This guy got four fingers for real. Nice job, Jesse Livingston for the first down. Oh, what a throw. Between two defenders, he makes that throw, but he can't hit the wide open guy. It doesn't make any sense. 
Good run, David Cooper. Reigning drip of the day candidate. Make sure you let me know who it should be next week. Got him. Bang, Andy Robinson. Touchdown. What a drive to start the game. Come on, you gotta, ugh, gotta make tackles. Damn, bro, this dude breaks every tackle. Damn, not a good showing from the defense there. We didn't tackle, we didn't cover, just awful. Good hole. Get there a little. Let's go. Their defense been on the field the entire game so far. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Robinson again inside the 25. He's been a weapon for us early. There we go. Finally a catch for Sean Brown. All right, Livingston's got it at the one. Might go for this. All right, big play. Need a yard and a half. Let's see if we can get it. Ah, good defense there. Play's usually OP, but not this time. Ah, we got a tackle. We've got to make tackles. How many missed tackles have we had? Let's go! Covered that slant. Just enough time for the sack to get there. Justin Albert makes the play. Bruh. Are you kidding me? We sent the blitz. They run a draw, and we didn't tackle. That's ridiculous. Pick that. Yes, sir. Yeah! Great run. Really good run. First down. Let's go. All right, we got one timeout, second and four. Probably just going to try to get into field goal range and uh, go from there. Might have one more play after that. Let's see. All right, we'll take three, go to the second half. Ah. Didn't get the edge there at all. Come on, man. He just simply got to make tackles there. I mean, we had him stop the line of scrimmage, broke four more tackles. I might have to change the slider pretty soon. Oh, great blocks. Let's go, man. Good run. Oh, you got to be kidding me, bro. All right, didn't look that bad. I don't know what it could be. We'll have to wait and see on that. Let's go, Coop. Oh, damn. All right, we're going to take a risk and go for this. We're confident we can get two yards here. Move these sticks. Let's go. There we go, man. Oh, nice move, Cooper. That D-line, that front six is weak. We can expose that. Let's go. All right, Tucker out for the game, mild concussion. So luckily not like too big of a thing, but still would love to have him.
man, he is running like a stud. He just has the look of a five-star that he was, and he's stepping in and playing well. Got him. Get there. Ah, oh, he's just short. Let's go, though. We're passing it well today. Open lane. Cooper. Touchdown. Back in front. Great try. All right, we got to shut this run game down. The only offense they've had is on these little gimmick plays where we don't tackle. So let's let's do it right now. Oh, fumble! Woohoo! Chandler's got it. We got the ball back. That'll work too. Who had the hit? Let's see. It looks like Huggins came back. And that wasn't even his job, I don't think. Maybe he had it man-to-man. -man. Forces that fumble. Chandler picks it up. And we got the ball with a chance to put the game away. Expose him! Oh, wow. What a catch and run. He could have had more on that. Let's go, Sean. Good take, Cooper. All right, three's not an option here. Six to win it. Yes, sir! Great block. Needed that one right in front of us. Snuck by it. Matt Little to the end zone. And that may have just won us the game. Oh, fumble! Woohoo! We got another one! And after Huggins forces it, he recovers this one, and that's ball game right there. Yes, sir, defense. Oh. All right, definitely scored way too quick for my liking, but that's what they always do in this game. Oh my gosh. Do not do that to me. Did not think we'd get the first down on that audible. I had the full intention to call it, but they blocked it to perfection, and that's the ball game. How about that? All right, running through the game stats, really competitive battle. Didn't really um, dominate a single quarter, but, uh, you know, what we'll see is that we held the ball and just moved the ball well the entire game, and that was the difference. Earl Edwards played great, 23 of 28, 208 to touchdown. You know, game manager, making the throws when he needs to, not missing many, not getting sacked, also not making mistakes. The offense was great today. The passing was good. The run game was great, too. Josh Tucker, 56 yards, left early with an injury, but David Cooper, the freshman, came in and played very well 10 touches 48 yards and a touchdown would have better numbers but you know offensive line just wasn't blocking towards the end of the game there uh earl edwards also at 18 yards on the ground so he was good with his legs today matt little also chipped in for a touchdown 26 yards so three backs that uh really it's usually just tucker and cooper but three guys that came in did their jobs and did so well receiving wise jesse livingston is the leader today with 71 yards just consistently got open and won his you know, man-to-man -man matchups. Andy Robinson, same deal. Was a nice security blanket, four for 43, and a touchdown, the first one of the game. Andrew Harrell had a few catches. Same for Tucker and Sean Brown. Not a big game. Just uh, you know, haven't been able to find him much this season. But uh, you know, there will be times where we'll need him, and uh, I'm glad he's on our team. 
Defensively, really happy with the guys today. Didn't tackle very well, but made plays that changed the game, right? A couple TFLs, actually three sacks. McKinney and Elbert really kept their quarterback in check, I'd say, in the second half of this game. Didn't let him scramble for many yards. Uh, deflection for McCutcheon, which was, uh, I'm trying to think of when that was. It was a drop pick, that's what it was. Two forced fumbles, so that's the story of this game. McCutcheon had one, Huggins had one, he also had a recovery, and then Joe Chandler had the other recovery. That was the difference in the game right there. Those two plays stopping their drives, and we got points off of both of them. Team stats, I expect us to have big numbers here, and we do. 360, 152 running, 208 passing. This is, where we're at, this is when we're at our best, when we're you know, balanced, efficient, 7-10 on third, 1-2 on fourth. Good in the red zone, just had that one red zone stop, which happens. But uh, we won the turnover battle, plus two, and we scored points on those two giveaways. And look at this time of possession, holy jeez. 20-31 to 329 i mean that's unreal that was the story of the game they had short plays we just didn't tackle this was all sliders based this entire game they just had the broken tackle button on lock and when we had the ball we just this defense over there we play like michigan football boa constrictor run the ball run the clock get that defense tired wear them down score touchdowns that's how we play we did that today all right guys thanks for watching that was a lot of fun that game uh, we played very clean ball. Still some things to clean up on defense, but really happy with the offense. And then we played complimentary football force in the turnover. So that was awesome. One of our best games of the year, I'm not going to lie. And it was a great game overall. I mean, they gave us some problems, mostly with the broken tackles. Might have to change that slider soon just to even the competition because there's no reason that team should have been competing with us to begin with. They weren't good. But we do get the win. We're 7-0, 24-21. Hope you guys enjoyed. Another great game on this channel. All we get is great games every single time we play. So I hope you, uh, you know, like that because that's what you get here. Like, subscribe, appreciate y'all. We got the recruiting episode coming up next. We'll see if we can add some more guys to our class. Thanks again for watching. Go Jackets 7-0. On to the next one. Peace.